News 4 San Antonio at noon, we're here for you. Well, good afternoon. Viva Fiesta, man. We are right in the middle of it all, or as they bill it, the epicenter of Fiesta here in San Antonio. We, of course, are talking about Fiesta de los Reyes down here at Historic Market Square. I'm David Chancellor. I am fired up to once again be broadcasting our noon show from right here in Market Square. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this noon. We could not have asked for a better day. I'm Diana Rocco. We're going to get to Jeanette with a look at the forecast. I mean, it's just beautiful out here today. I don't think it could get any better. I, I ordered perfect weather. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too warm, not too cool. I mean, there have been times that we've been out here and it's been chilly. I remember two years ago, though, it was hot and mm -hmm. humid. Yeah. So this year is just the perfect. Uh, we'll get to your short weather in just a moment. Yeah, this is a perfect day to come out here, uh, and especially if you are one of our esteemed military members here in San Antonio. We've got obviously thousands in the area. We want to bring in uh, a very special guest. This is Richard Delgado Jr. He is one of the consejos here. He is also with Boeing, who is the title sponsor for Military Monday. Um, we got some pretty cool this, medals here. We got too. some cool He's medals. Got one yeah. Right there. <laughs> what does this what, what does this mean to you and and to be a part of not only just this with San Antonio but honoring our military? Well, it's out of the heart of who we are at the Boeing Company. So being in Military City USA with our veteran population, veterans, us at Boeing believe that veterans make us better. So this goes hand in hand and it's the largest fundraiser for the Consejo Educational Foundation. So it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. What is it like for you to see everyone out here today having such a good time? This is a great way to start off Military Monday. Absolutely. It, the weather is perfect. As you mentioned, the weather is absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, if you're, you're hanging out, you're watching us, hey, come see us live. Come down here. Come partake. Um, if you're military or a veteran or a family member, get a wristband from one of our Consejo brothers and you'll get a discount at some of the food uh, booths and uh, drink booths, so it's, it's a win-win. Just look for everybody wearing the white shirt like this and they'll have the, they'll have the bands. By the way, parking was not that bad. Uh, we have talked about it. It, it, I mean, it's what it is, right? I mean, you're gonna come down here, you're gonna hang out anyway. The Consejo Foundation, the Rafael Consejo Foundation, uh, it has raised millions of dollars for local students. Um, how does, what, what, what is the impact that you think it has on San Antonio? So, so it's it's a huge impact. So um, our king, our current king, uh, John and, and his court uh, just donated 1.5 million dollars wow. for education. So again, it's not only two years; it's also four years. And this year, we're doing trade schools. So again, really opening it up. We we don't want the price of education to be. Um, a barrier and us at the Boeing company those are the partnerships and relationships we absolutely love because we want our students to reach for the stars well uh, it is party with a purpose uh, that is certainly on full display here um, at uh, Fiesta de los Reyes uh, we have Richard here part of Military Monday we have the amazing food that by the way we will once again be partaking um, yes, 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 all the all yeses. All of it and more. We have a great show for you here today. Thank you so much for joining Richard, us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it, everything you do. So, Jeanette, how'd you do it? How'd you cook up such a great day today? I guess Mother Nature's my best friend She's a fiesta today person. and tomorrow, yes. <laughs> Let's go to the map so you can see exactly what we're talking about. I mean, again, it's just picture perfect. We're seeing mostly sunny skies. Earlier, we had some mid-level clouds across the area. Right now, it's mostly sound, uh, sunny, and it's going to stay this way for the rest of the day. 67 degrees. The humidity is low doesn't get any better than this. And here's your forecast as we take you through the rest of the day. We're going to top out in the low to mid 70s. I think we'll eventually get to 73 degrees. And then once the sun goes down by about eight o'clock in the evening, temperatures will start to drop back into the 60s. I get cool fast, get chilly fast. So I have a jacket on, but I'm sure once I start walking around, I'm going to have to take this jacket off. So again, you can see still some lingering cloud cover across parts of the area, specifically across the south. Earlier, some of those clouds did produce a few showers and sprinkles to the south of San Antonio and that may be the case at least for the next couple of hours so here's again your forecast perfect weather mostly sunny come on down say hello and we'll check out what you can expect for the rest of the week coming up we got a couple of things here before we go back to Christina in studio number one these tacos have been I've been eyeballing these these whole time I'm not sure what do we know what's in them oh some goat very nice 
down Very the hatch. popular here. David's definitely enjoying himself. And while he's busy eating, we've got some members of the crowd with us here today. Hi! Can we all get a big Viva Fiesta? get back to those tacos. They look delicious. Cabrito tacos with an audience here. You can't beat that. We'll let you get back to it. Well, right now you have a chance to win our full set of Fiesta medals. Here's a look at all five of them. Now to enter to win that full set, all you have to do is go to our website at news4sa.com. And to learn more about Fiesta, the history, the charities, and where it's going from here, News 4 invites you to watch Viva Fiesta, the story behind San Antonio's biggest party. You can watch it on our YouTube page. Hey, we are live downtown in historic Market Square for Fiesta de los Reyes, and today is Military Monday. They're giving out these wristbands to all military members, and what a day it is down here. If you didn't say it was Monday, I wouldn't know it's Monday <laughs> because the party, I, I, this is the best part of Fiesta. It's always Friday, it feels like. Everybody's drinking, they're eating, it's a lunch hour. I think everybody skipped work, but I tell you what, we're looking around. The Casabaria taco was amazing that we had earlier. We got tripas over here, aguas frescas, and down there in just a few moments, Gorditas. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get Diana to eat a gordita. All right, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stick okay. around. Uh, we are live from Fiesta de los Reyes. It is Military Monday down here, so if you get a chance, come on down, hang out. Best part, it's free to get in. <laughs> Welcome back to Historic Market Square. We are right in the middle of the epicenter is what they call this, uh, the epicenter of Fiesta. This, is my, this has been my favorite now for many years. We come down here, we have a gordita, um, and we come and we talk to you. Um, Josie and Felipe, uh, mother and son, basically boss, and, but, but also uh, a, 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 a veteran, 26 year veteran. Mm -hmm. Sir, thank you so much for your service on this Military Monday. You've been doing this 30 years, what keeps you bringing back every year? Well, I, I love the public. And, and we do we cook food with love. <laughs> it shows. People people are terrific. You know they're fantastic. They love. I'm waiting all year for this for gorditas and, and so they're happy. They're happy to come back. Me so too. So what kind of flavors are you using, and how long does it take to make it? Well, I have a uh, picadillo. Mm -hmm. I have uh, chicken, chicharrones, bean and cheese. Wow. Well, I would say to cook it, I would say 20 minutes, mm -hmm. 20, 25 minutes. When does the planning start for you? When? Uh, weeks before. Yeah. <laughs> I would say two weeks before. Wow. Felipe, so you're, you're going to take over the family business. Eventually. But I'm, I'm, I'm curious, uh, did you grow up and, and mom was making this just at home for oh, you? Yes, she always loved to cook. And if you ever talked to her, she loved to make, she said, I'm making food with love. <laughs> always with love, and she does. So... A lot of the workers that have been with us, they've been with her over 20 plus years as well. People so come, the quality stays the same. People come down here, they, they, they are ready to eat what your mom makes. I'm just wondering what that's like as a family. Oh, I've, since I was a little kid, I've always enjoyed her home cooking. And I used to be in high school, she said, you want to bring your friend? She would make food for them to eat as well at home. Do you see the same people coming back year after year and have yes. they then yeah. become part of your family as well? Yes, they do. And, and everybody says, we love your gorditas. We make gorditas with love. And that's the secret, the love, the love in your food. I gotta be, I gotta be honest. The smell is just—it's overwhelming. <laughs> it's, it's calling my name. David will take one of everything. Yeah, I, I, well, I want, I want. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I'll try Picadillo. All right, well, you're working on that. Let's get some for Jeanette as well. Jeanette, can you smell the gorditas from where you are? Can you smell what the... <laughs> well, actually, I'm standing between a gordita booth and a chicken on a stick booth. Let's talk about the chicken on a si stick because we all know this is a very popular fiesta food. And here I made... Um, Leti, my best friend, she runs the booth here at Fiesta de los Reyes. Leti, can you uh, tell our viewers here what sets your chicken on a stick apart from other places that have this deliciousness? Of course, ours are more delicious, you know that. And then we're adding our dinner roll. We don't want to leave that out. A lot of people are leaving it out. We feel it's part of the chicken on a stick. Of course, with the jalapeno. And then we add a little 
give a fiesta decoration on top just to give it a little flair and we add our jalapeno and there you go there you go tell us exactly where you're located so if someone watching right now is coming to market square where can they find you we're closer to there's two streets one is san saba this is santa rosa we're close to santa rosa and we're right in front of the centro de artes building which we call our big pink building so we're here we're waiting for you guys to come out and have a good time hey fernando i'm going to switch places with you because i need you to show everyone how that chicken is looking right there there this is all part of the assembly of course they have the chicken you need the stick they have the dinner rolls and the jalapenos well we're going to get back to this uh, let's go to weather let's uh, check out the map so you can see what i'm talking about when it comes to our weather i mean it's just picture perfect out here we're having the perfect amount of sunshine it's not too sunny it's not overly cloudy and temperatures are very comfortable all right live look outside this is what it looks like in downtown san antonio it is mostly sunny temperatures are in the 60s it was pretty chilly this morning we had lots of spots in the 50s but we're now seeing that it's in the mid to upper 60s across the area 67 right now in san antonio and the humidity is low this adds to the uh, great weather out here dew point uh, excuse me air temperatures are in the 60s as i mentioned some spots closer to the low 70s but the pleasant humidity levels with these dew points in the 40s the air is still relatively dry and that will be the case throughout the day today however later tomorrow and as we go into wednesday the humidity increases it'll get steamier late week into the weekend we are seeing some mid-level clouds across the area high pressure sitting just to the northeast meanwhile there is a little upper level disturbance in the middle uh, part of the atmosphere which is sitting just to the south and that's what's been producing some clouds and even some showers farther south however here in san antonio that cloud cover is breaking apart that's why it's mostly sunny we'll keep it partly to mostly sunny today high temperatures will generally be in the low to mid 70s which is actually below the normal normal is 81 degrees Tomorrow in the morning, we'll have a few clouds. Tomorrow afternoon, sun and clouds. And then as we go into Wednesday, as we get more moisture in the air, the cloud cover moves in Wednesday morning and it hangs out for a good chunk of the day. Going into Thursday, cloudy, sprinkles in the morning and then in the afternoon, mostly cloudy. By Friday, that's when we'll see a, a weather maker, disturbance move across the state and that's what's going to bring our next rain chance. But in the meantime, enjoy today, forecast high temperature between 73 and 75 with times of sun and clouds. Great evening to come on down and visit Fiesta de Rosarellas here at Market Square. Temperatures early in the evening in the low 70s and then once the sun goes down, temperatures drop into the 60s. Elsewhere across the area in the western zone, we'll see highs there in the upper 70s, low to mid 70s across the hill country and the eastern zone. Seven day forecast, 55 tomorrow morning, not quite as chilly as this morning, but still pleasant. And then in the afternoon, we'll get up to near 80 degrees. And then I've uh, noticed that late week into the weekend, mid to upper 80s, it'll feel even uh, hotter with the humidity. 30% rain chance Friday afternoon. We'll just have to watch the potential of a thunderstorm late Friday and then again late on Sunday. All right, I'm here live at Fiesta de los Reyes at Market Square where it is Military Monday. Leti, um, I think I'm ready for a chicken on a stick. Do you mind if I try so that I can let our viewers know what this tastes like? Oh, and by the way, I also see some sausage on a stick so at Letty's booth not only chicken on a stick but you can also get sausage on a stick what else ribbon fries oh wow she has it all here all right let's see let's see let's see let me get one quick bite okay of course you have to have the jalapeno these pickled jalapenos are the perfect way to go with these uh chicken on a sticks oh you can't forget the little flare there Letty, I'll just take it like that. It doesn't matter. Okay, come on down. See Letty and her staff for the perfect chicken. This is so pretty. I don't want to bite it, but um, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. It's so crispy, juicy. Back to you guys. <laughs> yes, so we've got the team out at Fiesta de los Reyes. Hey there, how's it going, everyone? Hey, Christina, we've got some agua fresca for you. We've got watermelon and pineapple here. I was just asking David, where's your flower crown? I, well, I, uh, <laughs> I, I left the crown at home. Um, I did not leave my appetite. I'm going to walk out of here probably about 5,000 calories into the day, and I don't care because it's awesome, and we're eating, and we're having a good time. There's no calories when it's fiesta. Nobody's keeping track. Right. we got a really cool interview coming up right after the commercial break 
you've heard of them. We've done news stories on them. It is a different way, a new way to get around San Antonio, especially during Fiesta. The owner of the company called Sago will join us. You want to give your legs a break? This is the way to do it. We've got so much more coming up during this noon show. Thank you for joining us. We'll be right back. News for San Antonio at noon. We're here for you. Welcome back to the uh, lunch hour here at Fiesta de los Reyes uh, down at uh, Historic Market Square. We're having a great time. We're eating. We're drinking. Non-alcoholic, by <laughs> the way. Doing most of I'm, the I'm definitely <laughs> doing my share of eating. Um, we're also talking to some really cool people uh, that are having a big impact on San Antonio, like our new friend Kevin Mancha, who is the owner of Sago Electronic People, people Movers. Mm -hmm. Did I say that correctly? Correct. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> what, 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 is, what is a Sago? A Sago is a solution for people to get around um, here in San Antonio, and we're an official sponsor for the Fiesta de los Reyes um, event here, the 10-day free event uh, for the Ray Feo Consejo Education Foundation. So it's real important for us to be a part of something that has such big meaning in our community. It's so. no secret that construction has been a topic during this year's Fiesta. How has that been for you trying to navigate around the event with the roads being closed and that sort of thing? Sure, sure. I think um, we're bringing a solution. We're decongesting, um, mm -hmm. you know, so we're with, with five people to a vehicle, we're able to take that many vehicles potentially off the road. Mm -hmm. So we're decongesting as we move people in and then making it a safe, fun, uh, sustainable way for people to move around the city. I can imagine people are happy to see you when oh they get God. themselves all backwards in these, uh, some yes, of these I roads, Yes, I see people right? rock, paper, scissoring <laughs> on the side of the road. Who's gonna go, who's gonna go, who's gonna wait for the next right. one? So yeah, definitely, we're, uh, we're out there. We're trying to uh, move as many people as we can in a safe manner here to uh, Market Square. Mm -hmm. You're fighting the fight. You're a, good, you're a local business here, obviously. You and your wife have, have set this up and started this. I'm just curious, how do folks get in touch with you and they're like, this sounds like a great idea. Sure. I want to do that to go to Niosa or you know, whatever event it is. Um, what would they need to do to get a hold of you? For sure, to get a hold of us, we have a phone number you can text uh, to our dispatch. It's 210-660-6939. Um, you can also just wave us down on the side of the road. You know, just, hey, you know, give us a whistle. Sort of like hailing and a cab, a right? Cab. Yeah, so um, we're, we're trying to reach as many people as possible. Don't give up. Um, our drivers are in and out of different areas and pockets of the city, so we're trying to do our best. Um, be patient with us. And you're all electric. We're all electric, so you how know, far can you go on a charge? We go about sixty to seventy-five miles, depending on the load and and how what distance we're doing. So. Wow, that'll get you around here. It does. It does. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're from here. I'm a local. I'm from San Antonio, born and raised, and uh, we love our fiesta. So. Well, we love to hear that, obviously, but uh, just fiesta to you means what? Family, fun, and uh, party. <laughs> and if you're going to party, what better way than let somebody else drive you, drive you electric? Yes, sir. Well, speaking of party, we're going to get to Jeanette Kaye, who is somewhere in the middle of it all with a look at your forecast. Hey, Jeanette. Hey there, Diana. Well, I made another friend. Meet Isaac. Isaac runs and owns three gordita stands here at Markwood Square for Fiesta de los Reyes. And he was telling me what sets his gorditas apart. And Isaac, what is that? Plus, you have to show me how you guys put these things together. No problem. Well, our homemade recipe, first of all. And I, actually, honestly, the chicken sells the most, but what enhances my chicken is the beans. Oh, so I like okay. to put beans on the bottom, chicken on top, and then I finish up with some lettuce, tomato, cheese, and then our signature hot sauce Ooh. to make that the wow. best gordita. Wow, did you guys see that? I mean, this thing is loaded, but they have other options. You have beef, you can mix it up, right? Of course, we have beef, we have chicken, chicharron, bean and cheese. So we're here, we're at Market Square, come down and see us. How many years have you been a part of Fiesta de los Reyes? Uh, this will be our eighth year, our eighth wow. year. Wow, and what? What's the excitement that you feel leading up to Fiesta? It's a family environment. So my aunt's here, my dad's here. We all run different booths. It's a huge family ordeal. We have great people that work we, we work with in the city of San Antonio as well. And of course, Fiesta de Rio Feo like helps us to get up here and you know get these beautiful gorditas to you guys. So okay, what time can someone is it get a gordita? As early as what time? As late as what time? You know, we're up and running by 8, we're up and serving, I mean, excuse me, we're up and running by 9, but we're here from 10 to the last person leaves. So, Viva Fiesta, we're here for you guys. 
Yummy. All right, let's go to the maps. I have to do weather, Isaac. I'll be back in a moment to take a bite of that. All right, let's go to the maps and see what it looks like weather-wise. As you've been hearing me say all noon hour, it is just fantastic. Live look outside. It is mostly sunny, and we're seeing temperatures that are in the 60s, 67 degrees still at the airport. Hopefully you guys can hear me because I feel like the music in the background is getting uh, louder. Uh, it'll stay pretty uh, nice throughout the day. We'll have low humidity and temperatures this afternoon will be rising into the low and mid 70s which by the way is below the normal all right I'm gonna switch spots I'm gonna head down the plaza uh, but before I go thank you Isaac cheers Wow is there a secret um, on how I can is there a secret on how I can eat this pretty because these things tend to be messy honestly people don't want the forks they love getting their inside there and just eating it and they come back for more all right well, I'm not going to eat this on the air, Christina, because it's just too messy, but I'll take a bite of it and I'll be sure to bring you some to the studio. Back to you, Christina. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit at all today. <laughs> just go for it later. I won't tell anybody. All right, right now you have a chance to win our full set of Fiesta medals. Here's a look at all five of them. Don't they look great? Now, to enter to win your full set, all you have to do is go to our website at news4sa.com. And to learn more about Fiesta, the history, the charities, and where it's going from here, News 4 invites you to watch Viva Fiesta, the story behind San Antonio's biggest party. You can watch it on our YouTube page. All right, coming up, we're taking you live to that party with the purpose. That is a live picture of Fiesta de los Reyes, where David, Diana, and Jeanette are all there, and they are handing out medals. Look at that. Handing out medals, giving the people what they want. He's got a full bag there. Probably not when we come back from this break. We'll check in with them right after this. Welcome back. We are downtown at the historic Market Square for Fiesta de los Reyes. It is Military Monday here. And I don't know about you, but I cannot keep medals in my hands. We've probably already <laughs> given away about 200 so far today, maybe more. It is very popular. The Peacock is very <laughs> yes. popular with, uh, with all of our viewers. By the way, for those who have not been down here, couldn't make it out during the show, just the love that we have felt and the love that we're trying to give you guys, uh, this is what it is about. As corny as that may sound, that is truly about what Fiesta is. It, it's it's the family, it's the food, it's yeah. all of that. I was looking here in Market Square for Fiesta de los Reyes. There are about 40 food booths. There's eight or nine beer slash wine slash margarita booths. Uh, there's uh, all kinds of demonstrations uh, and exhibits. There's also five band stages that basically are around the clock. They're open every day. It's free to get in. Yep. 10 a.m. now. You can hear it in the background. Yeah, 10 a.m. to midnight, and then on Saturday they stay open a little bit later. Well, there's a lot of smiles around here today. Everyone is in a fantastic mood. I think partly it's because of the weather. We couldn't have had a better day, but also who wouldn't enjoy all this good food? You tried this already, didn't you? I had that one. I haven't had and this then we've got one. A I mean, on a stick here I with mean us. if you're asking me that you think I should, I mean, I guess yeah, I will. Yeah, take a bite. Why I'll not? Put this down here. <laughs> it wouldn't be fiesta if we didn't watch David eat as much as he possibly could. We've had funnel cake already. <laughs> There's some gorditas we've already tried. That's got a kick. Take a big bite of the jalapeno <laughs> while you're at it. <laughs> Jeanette, you're missing this. David's going to eat a jalapeno I, for us. I can't. I, I have a weak <laughs> stomach when it comes to that. Well, we couldn't have asked for a better oh, day. Dave. Jeanette is standing by somewhere in the middle of it all. Jeanette, where are you? And uh, I, I've seen you've tried quite a bit of food already so far as well. I have. I've had a chicken on a stick, which was very juicy. I've had a gordita, which was plump with a whole bunch of uh, yummy toppings. I'll be finishing those after the show, but we need something to wash that food down. I'm at the very popular La Margarita restaurant, which by the way is open year round, so you don't have to come just uh, during Fiesta. But if you are coming down during Fiesta, they do have some uh, awesome items that are very refreshing. One of them being the Aguas Frescas. They have so many flavors. I heard that the most popular is the Orchata flavored one, but I'm eyeing that cucumber one. That sounds very refreshing. They have tamarindo, they have cantaloupe, mango, strawberry, pretty much whatever your flavor, they have it here. So come on down, Market Square, Fiesta de los Reyes. You know, if you do want to add a little pizzazz to your drink, how about a mangonada, which um, the folks here know that this is one of my favorites. So every year they have one of these prepared just for me. 
Mm. Mango and chamoy and tahin. My gosh. All right, let's go to weather. Well, I, um, yeah, let's just go to weather. I need some water now. Um, let's go to the maps and you can see how the weather is just looking fantastic across the area. Live look outside our Raul B. Rodriguez Law weather camera showing you how it is a mostly sunny and we're seeing temperatures that are in the 60s. In San Antonio, it is 67 degrees. I've been in the shade, so I've been okay with the jacket, but I know once I get out in the sun, I'm gonna have to take this jacket off. 60s and 70s across the board, we're seeing some spots already in the low 70s. This is the takeaway. It's the low humidity that's adding to the comfort. Dew point temperatures are in the 40s. Enjoy this because it'll slowly turn more humid as the week progresses. That, that muggy factor, that comes in on Wednesday and it sticks around through the rest of the week. In fact, even this weekend will be uh, quite humid. Uh, mid-level clouds across the area, specifically down towards the south. There's like this uh, disturbance in the mid-levels of the atmosphere that's passing by to the south, and that's what's producing some clouds and even a few sprinkles, but that's not coming this way. We'll keep it mostly sunny in town. Forecast high temperature, cooler than normal, but absolutely uh, fantastic. Low to mid-70s, about 73, 75. Great weather this evening. We'll keep it mostly clear once the sun goes down. But after 8 o'clock in the evening, temperatures drop into the lower 60s. So if you're going to come down here later in the evening, I would say grab a sweater. Western zone, we'll see highs in the upper 70s, and we'll see low to mid 70s across the hill country and the eastern zone. Seven day forecast, there's a lot going on later in the week. Tomorrow, partly sunny, high between 77 and 79. By Wednesday, mostly cloudy, 10% rain chance, few sprinkles, 83. Thursday, same setup, mostly cloudy, 85 with a few sprinkles early. And then as we go into Friday and Saturday, up to near 90 degrees, 30% rain chance Friday afternoon, slight rain chance on Saturday, and then we're going with about a 30% rain chance on Sunday. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. As I always say, if you miss this here, you can always get it online at news4sa.com. You just have to click on the weather tab. All right, back here at Market Square, Fiesta de los Reyes. I have my sash on, my crown. Again, I'm gonna have to take my jacket off because it's getting pretty warm out here. Cheers, everybody. Come on down, Viva Fiesta. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Let's go back out to Market Square one last time with David, Diana, and Jeanette for Fiesta de los Reyes celebrations. You guys look like you're having a good time out there. Oh, it's been amazing so far. Highlights for you guys? I, uh, the people. I, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away at the, just the love and, and, and a lot of it. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Can, do we show everyone this woman who's been here the entire time with oh, the Spurs hat on? That, that's Sylvia. <laughs> That, that's, that's the Spurs lady right there. Oh, she's been uh, awesome. We got so many folks uh, who, you know, wake up. <laughs> it's just that a lot, says it it's, all. It's a lot of fun. And it's expanded. This, this area is, is it's bigger now than ever. Yes, I found out that Marion Park across the street behind Market Square, they have vendors there. They even have a music stage. So if this park gets too crowded, then just go right across the street and have some fun there. There's been something for everyone today, even rides and electric vehicles. If uh, you get a little tired and don't want to navigate the construction downtown, we've had a lot of amazing interviews, but I mean, the food has just been fantastic. I've got Agua Fresca here. Jeanette, you brought a recent addition to the table. <laughs> what is this? What is this? A mango nada from La Margarita. You've never had this? No, no, I have. I oh, just wanted to. <laughs> Diana, have you ever had a mango I have nada? not, no. So it's a mango margarita. It has chamoy in it and also has tajin. When I moved to San Antonio nine and a half years ago, I was introduced to this deliciousness. It looks fantastic. La Margarita, and I just haven't put it down ever since. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's so much to do, so much to eat. This is only just a fraction of the food and drinks that they have here at Fiesta de los Reyes. Mm -hmm. By the way, Shout out to Mari Lou. Uh, she has been working here at Fiesta de los Reyes, um, making funnel cakes now for a couple of decades. I'm responsible for that, um, and we'll knock the rest of it out probably when we're done here. Um, as you guys know, funnel cakes are, are my thing. So this is what I wanted to show you guys oh, before we get out I of here. I noticed they were on the table. Yeah. Okay. So this is from this is from uh, some of our viewers. Monica and Johnny stopped by. I just walked up. Monica and Johnny came over um, right when I first got here. They said that their daughter Celia, uh, silly, silly, um, is who lives in Dallas, handmade these. Mm. So um, Johnny's dad used to do this, and now their daughter has taken it over. And so they're hand painted. You've got spurs. You got cowboys. 
Elmo, all kinds of this fun things. This one's really cool. Now, these are the cascarones that they are not for the cracking because clearly she spent a lot of time on she this. She did. She I don't did. Break it. That one says cowboys, so <laughs> like that, right? And that's. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is a it's a time honored tradition. Oh well, so much uh, for that. Be careful, there's whipped cream on I that know. <laughs> I know. Uh, but we cannot tell you guys, um, if you get a chance, come down here. This is this is a wonderful uh, chance to sort of dip your toe into fiesta. Yeah. 40 food booths, all kinds of drinks. It's free to get in. They're open basically morning to night, mm -hmm. uh, 10 a.m. until midnight uh, every day until Fiesta ends next week. Today is Military Monday, so there's a discount all day today for military members here in Military City, USA, and the weather couldn't be more perfect. I mean, we're talking a good amount of sun, low humidity, temperatures not too warm, not too cool, low to mid-70s, mm -hmm. about 73, and then once the sun goes down after 8, it's going to cool off, but you're going to probably be in a large crowd by then, so you may need the sweater, may not. No matter the weather, though, we all know during Fiesta, people have a great time. Hey, will you guys, uh, if I say Viva, you guys will yell Fiesta as loud as you can? Yes. Okay, hey, thank you so much, uh, watching. Thanks for all your support here. On the count of three, one, two, three, Viva! Bye, <laughs> well, Thank you for joining us this noon. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Who's going to clean all this up? <laughs>